Hello friends, in my first video, I said this. For bipolar disorder, treatment is good enough these days that once people find the right treatment, they can prevent any further episodes from happening. A lot of times, you actually won't be able to tell who has bipolar disorder or not once they found treatment that works. Back in June 2017, when I've been without incident for a few years, I think, you know what? I don't need my medication. I don't think I'll go manic again. So I stopped taking all medication. Did I go manic immediately? No. In fact, at the time of filming my first video, I have been off my medication for about eight months. I was functioning normally. I lost a bit of weight, possibly because of stopping taking lithium. I don't know. Fast forward to May of that year, and I start waking up earlier and earlier, even without an alarm clock. Here's what my journal entry says. May 1st, 2018. Woke up at 5.35 a.m. I've been waking up earlier and earlier. I hope it's got nothing to do with mania. It starts getting worse as the weeks go on, and I start sleeping later and later. July 10th, 2018. Four hours of sleep. In July, I'm getting four hours of sleep, three hours, two hours. In August, I even had one night with just one hour of sleep. There was a lot going on at that time. I got a new job. I was moving out to a condo by myself. Relatives were visiting. It was hectic. I was cycling almost every day, and even before then, I was losing so much weight. I got to the point where I was underweight in terms of my BMI. I was about 53 kilograms, which is about 117 pounds at my lightest. My face had these lines next to my mouth because I lost so much weight. It looked bad. I looked gaunt. Finally, September 25th of that year, 2018, I go full-blown manic. I lose it completely. I went for a rainy night walk slash run, and then I turn on The Matrix on Netflix, and this is what I write in my journal. It was my manic episode all over again. Almost every sentence in the movie spoke to me, resonating with my core. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind. What the fuck is going on? It feels like my manic state all over again, but this time I'm not manic because I'm not super delusional about being the next prophet and how everyone is in on the secret like the Truman Show. You're part of this, aren't you? Soon after that, I was talking to voices again, hearing them, and it was just like 2014 all over again. I was admitted to the psych ward. I also escaped the psych ward and ran away at one point. I'll save that for another video. I spent months in the psych ward before getting released. In fact, I almost got transferred to a long-term facility. Thank God that didn't happen because, uh, well, I still might be there to this day if I got transferred there. So the moral of the story is, if you're diagnosed with bipolar disorder or schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia, stay on your goddamn antipsychotics. I learned this the hard way. I tried to go with no meds, didn't work for me, and I paid the price. Thanks for watching, thanks for being you, and have a good one.